Hey, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Akakwadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of great millstone who have taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach the truth and risk life to do so. This is going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the video is edifying. Lord willing, I can get something from this video. Uh, we're going to get into the rulership of Israel. You know, the rulership that is coming up. You know, the reason why we're in the state that we're in now is because we we didn't follow the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High. Okay, and this is a direct reflection of what happens when you don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. The most powerful nation on the earth, right, is being ruled by the dung of the earth. Okay, by the dung of the, of the earth. And what I mean by that is that they being ruled, Israel is being ruled, you know, by the other nations. Okay, which was really made for our sakes, <laughs> you know. You know, we was made to rule over them, you know, but guess what? We didn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of our power. So the base men has, you know, ruled over us. The, not only the base men, but the rest of the heathens as well. Okay, but in the time to come, that's the scriptures tell you that, you know, that day should not come except they're being fallen away first. And that man of sin being, that man of sin, uh, uh, being revealed, okay, but the day is coming shortly, right, to Lord willing, right, that we're going to have rulership over the earth, okay, and a lot of people don't like when we say that, but guess what, you know, scriptures say that though hands join the hand, the wicked should not be unpunished, okay, so there's Isaiah 2 and 2, it says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. It shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. Right. So when you go into mount, like when you go into mountains and hills, those represents different governments. Okay. So you know this law, the law, such as commandments, are going to be at the top. You know, at the top of the way is going to be the way you have to. These people are going to have to live. Okay. I'm running back. It says, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the most of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, which are smaller governments, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, come ye, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh, to the house of the most high of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths. paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. Okay? So out of Zion shall go forth the law. You know? Which, guess what? You know, that's that's the real police. That's the real government. The government is being established right in front of you people's face on the highways and byways. You can't even see it. This is 4. It says, And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Now, guess what? Guess what? If the true Israelites were in the land right now, why is there still war? Nobody can answer that question. And this is Old Testament. Okay? Because guess what? The true Israelites are not in the land and they're not in power yet. Okay, because you don't see the world following the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, and you don't see, the, you know, the shows the Israelis pushing that. Okay, you don't. But guess what? In the time to come, everybody gonna have to follow the same laws that the same laws that your commandments we practice right now. The whole world is gonna have to follow it, but it's gonna be made in us perfect. Okay, let me go back here. I'm going to go to Isaiah 60. It's Isaiah 60. And I'll start at 10. It says, And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. The sons of, the sons of strangers are who? The heathen. Okay? It says, and the, son of strange, and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee, right? Scriptures tell you that what? The falling, the day shall not come except there be a falling away first. That falling, Paul had fallen away was us being smoted by the Most High, right? And our power being stripped from us. 
But guess what? In the time to come, <laughs> all this is going to be happen. All this is going to happen because scriptures say right here in 10, it says, but in my favor, I have had mercy on thee. And how you know that the most I have mercy on us? Well, we have received this truth. Okay. This is 12. It says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yet yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Okay, so the nation that won't serve us, that won't serve Israel, right, shall be shall perish and be utterly wasted. Okay. We're gonna rule over them with a rod of iron. This is Isaiah 16, 14. It says, now check this out. This is the scriptures. It says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. They shall what? They shall bow down to thy feet. All the who? All the sons also that of them that afflicted thee, right? That helped forth the affliction. Remember what it said in Zechariah. This is 15. It says, whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an etern and yeah, eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Right? Which proves that we are gonna have is is gonna be sexual activity in the kingdom. Okay. Sixteen it says, Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles and shalt suck the breasts of kings, which means receive riches. Okay. It says, And thou shalt know thou in the Lord Yahweh. It's like it, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord Yahweh, am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, and the Mighty One of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stone iron, stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. So what? Violence shall no be. <laughs> Violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Isn't violence going? So this is talking about Israel, right? Isn't violence going on in Israel as we speak? So are you telling me the scripture is lying? Right? No, it's not. The real people of Israel are not in the rulership and they're not in their land right now. Okay, you got some fake people portraying to be something that they're not. Okay. That 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 is wicked. That got the you know, that got the you know, that got the earth in their hands. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. That's why they own everything in this in this world. That's why you fool. That's why the scriptures say you fool. Don't you know that I will require thy life? Yeah, you got the riches, but guess what? You, you really can't enjoy it. Because you never know when what? When your time gonna come. You fools. Okay? You fools. That's why scriptures say stack up your treasures in heaven. Where dust no mouth can't corrupt, but you you Edomites can't stack your treasures up in heaven. Because you're going to be in a continual employment, man. The scriptures is not joking, man. This, this is not a game. Okay? Let me read it back at the top, man. Let me read it back. It says, I'm going to just read 14. It says, The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord Yahweh, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Let me see if I grab it real quick. Oh, it's locked. Todd, Rod. I think this is a uh, right here. This is Psalms two and eight. This is beautiful. It says, "Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance." What? Ask of me, and I shall give the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. 
Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Okay. <laughs> what? Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Come on, man. This is the scriptures. Right? This is the scriptures. The heathen were made for us. Don't don't let, you know, they rulership. The only reason why they got rulership is because we went off. But guess what? Right? The the elect and the one third are being bid back to the marriage. Right? And as soon as we get that, as soon as, you know, you know, Yahweh shot, Yahweh was finna pull the plug on this place, uh, place. You know, through Yahweh shot, you know? And guess what? The rulership of Israel is going to be back. <laughs> the rulership of Israel is going to be back, man. Okay? Okay? So let me see if I get some more on this, and after that, I'll be done. Uh, I'm gonna end with I'm gonna end with twenty two. It says I'm gonna start with twenty one. End with twenty two. It says that people also shall be righteous; they shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation again. How when a little one become a thousand without sex? Sex is a beautiful thing. It's a natural thing. It's actually how you. How you um marry a woman, you know, you become one via sex. I know, you know, sex is, you know, downplayed and not looked at as a serious thing. Obviously, in this world, you know, because, you know, women, you know, they get a body to whomever, you know, they feel like, <laughs> you know what I mean, you know. So it's not a big thing, you know. It, you know, they value a ring over sex, and that's crazy. You know, I should tell you what kind of state we in. You know, oh yeah, we're not married until you put a ring and sign that paperwork through Esau and get the state involved, right? But yet you giving men, you giving men the vagina, right? Well, re which really, you know, you you supposed to be with one man your whole life, not multiple men to figure out, you know what I mean? Who, which one you like, and who Rod feel the best, and who can be the man, and. You know, who got the clout and all this old, you know, madness. You know? But guess what? You know, you read uh, Mike, Mike of the Seventh Chapter. You women, read that. Read it all the way down. Okay? Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Right? And shame shall cover her. Which said, where is thy power? Okay? Read that. It's Isaiah 60 and 22. It says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. And now the Lord, Yahweh, will hasten it in, in its time. And let me go to Baruch. Uh, for right here. This is Baruch 4 and 24. It says, Like as now the neighbor, the neighbor, this is Baruch 4 and 24. Like as now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, and they had a hand in it. So shall they see shortly your salvation from my power, which shall uh, come up, come upon you with great glory and the brightness of the everlasting. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the most high for thine enemy hath persecuted thee. But shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Oh, that's beautiful. Come on, man. Tell me the scriptures ain't speaking. Okay. Let me read, let me read on down. This is Baruch 4 and 30. It says, Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are it's like you. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Right? We served in all these cities. Been slaves. And we still, you know, we still slaves, really. Miserable is the is she that received thy sons, for as she rejoiced. At thy ruin, and was glad at thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For fire shall come upon her. This is talking about America. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great 
time, O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Lord, from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west, right? Which, you know, to speak this word, okay? By the word of the Holy One, rejoicing in the glory of the Most High. And you read that in Jer uh, Jeremiah, the 50th chapter, 50 and 4, okay? And that chief cornerstone that, that God is doing this is Yahweh Shai. Okay, so with that, man, Lord willing, the video is edifying. Lord willing, I can got something from this video. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makaf, Dash. I want to tell you, uh, brothers, keep pushing. I want to say Shalom, Makim, stay up, Shalom. On to the next.